and hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart, and I'm going to throw in a brand new video for Tutorials of GS. Today's video is going to be pretty quick, uh, just a little tip that I found out quite a while ago I wanted to share with you guys for quite some time now. But basically, if you have an internet bandwidth analyzer, you've probably seen that Windows host services takes up a lot of bandwidth, and it's basically eating your internet up. So if you have a monthly data cap, this can be very problematic. Otherwise, it can still be very problematic because your computer is basically uh, eating bandwidth and using its resources for Windows host services when you don't really need it. Now, if you don't have a internet bandwidth analyzer and you don't know what I'm talking about and you want to have an internet bandwidth analyzer, I'll provide you with one. The one that I'm using and the one that I think it's very good to use is Glasswire, as you see here. This is the program. It's free. You can pay for it to see what devices are connected to your network, but otherwise it's free and you basically have access to everything else. Then an inbuilt firewall if you'd like to use it. If not, you also have a usage right here, a live, live viewing of how your internet's being used. If we actually take a look a little earlier, you'll see that I have a huge amount of upload uh, data. And that's because I actually just finished uploading a video on my other channels. So that's why we're having a huge spike of upload and then it goes down. So you'll see how accurate this actually is. It gives you upload uh, data and then download data in the uh, brighter color here while pink is upload and the yellowish uh, blue and ye the yellowish uh, reddish orangish is the download data. So anyway, we have that, and then you also have a list of programs that show you how much data they're using each, which is really neat and really useful. So as you see here, uh, host process for Windows services actually took almost two gigabytes of my internet, which is really annoying. Um, so the way you can stop this, if you have the same problem as I do, or if you want to make sure that you don't run into this problem, then what you want to do is basically stop this service. And how you do that is you go down to your start menu, and just type in services. Now once you have services open, you'll see a list of Windows services here and you want to look for bits, otherwise also known as background intelligence transfer service. Now I already have it turned off, but basically what you want to do is right click stop. And um, yeah, you want to keep it like that. Now, I believe you can also automatically make sure that it never turns on again. For me, sometimes it will still turn on when I turn my computer on, but other times it'll stay off. Um, I believe you can change that though through the property somewhere here probably. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the main problem causer for myself and a lot of other people I've seen on Google as well who've had the same problems. I thought I'd make a video about it. And I thought I'd also make a video on how to get a bandwidth analyzer. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know it was a, a pretty quick and short one, but um, it's a helpful one and a useful one for those of you who weren't aware of it. So plenty of other software tutorials on the channel and tutorials for computers and all that stuff on the channel. So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like. Any comments, questions, leave in the comments section below. I'll try to answer and I'll be for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out and if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too, really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.